Hey, what's up? It's Paul from Guitar World, and today we're going to be checking out an amazing analog delay pedal from Jam Pedals, the Delay Llama Extreme. Let's dig in and check it out. I first met Jam Pedals at a NAMM show, and they're known for making extremely colorful and jam-packed pedals that sound great. And this one is no exception. The Delay Alama Extreme is what you could call a typical analog delay pedal, but it's so much more, hence the extreme bit. Delay Llama is basically an analog delay with three 3025 Bucket Brigade delay chips built in. So you get a lot of processing power. It works just like an analog delay, but the extreme bit is basically found in this section here. And what's really great about this pedal, it allows you to save up to four presets, and then you can dig in to the extreme settings on this pedal, which does a whole lot more from pitch shifting to vibrato, tape age, and a bunch of interval and just almost LFO and synth sound. So there's a lot to it. So let me show you how it's done. So let's talk about the controls on this pedal. The main analog delay portion of this pedal, obviously, the on off button, which turns on the delay on and off. There's also a tap tempo foot switch over here on this side. Three controls for time, rate, and level of delay. That's self-explanatory right over here. Over here, we have three mini toggle switches. One is trails. So basically, in the off position, it's a true bypass. So when you click it on, it's a buffered bypass. Plus, when you have the trails on, if you turn off the analog delay switch over here, the trails continue even when the pedal is off. Over here is an on-off kill dry switch. So basically, what it does is kills your dry signal so you, all you hear is the affected tone. The last mini toggle, of course, is the tap tempo subdivisions, starting with an eighth note, quarter note, and a dotted eighth note. Finally, where these four LEDs are and this foot switch, along with the fifth LED on top, is where the extreme modes, as well as your presets, are located. This is also an alt switch, more about that in a moment. So, in order to access your presets, simply click on the switch like that, and it automatically brings to your preset modes, and you can cycle through the four presets which you can save. So, you, as you can see, I'm going through each one of the four presets until it brings me back to whatever I have I'm working on on this area over here. The other half of this pedal, of course, is the extreme modes. Now, in order to access the extreme modes, of which there are four, simply go to the middle foot switch, depress until you see the top light go on. Now I'm in edit mode, and I can go through each of the four presets and tweak them. So clicking on the first one brings me to vibrato mode, of which I have two controls here where I can change the speed and depth which are located as the R and L controls up top here. Now, in order to tweak that, simply hold down the Alt button and move the R control to tweak to taste and do the same, of course, with the L and let go until you find that.
The second extreme mode is the tape age mode, where you get the sound of a worn down vintage echo. And in order to access the tweakability and the uh, aged sound of the tape, simply hold the alt switch and move the L knob to your desired effect. <laughs> The third extreme mode is random, which gives you a bunch of abrupt pitches and rhythmic changes. And there's really no tweakability using the alt knob. All you need to do, of course, is move the time knob so you can really get a real great range of different, different sounds and rhythmic changes and, of course, pitch intervals as well. <laughs> The last extreme mode is pitch shift. Now, this is where the R and L controls come into play. You'll notice that there are five dots on both of these controls. That tells you you get five different pitch shifted intervals. And then moving over to here on the L, this tells you you have five playback patterns. So it's almost like a bit of a sequencer that you can use along with the, you know, where you can set along with the pitch shifted intervals. So for example, I can hold the alt button here, move it to R1, and then I can move this over to L3, which gives me a different playback pattern on this pitch interval. And if you want, of course, you can find a different interval, pitch shifted interval, say R3 or even R5, while you're still holding the alt button and then just cycle through the different playback patterns and find one that makes musical sense to you.
Once you've tweaked a setting, say in extreme mode, and in this case we are on the random mode that you like and you wish to save it, saving is really easy. Simply hold down the tap and the middle foot switch at the same time until the LED blinks three times. And there you have it. Now your setting and your preset is saved. Keep in mind, you don't even need to be in extreme mode to save a particular preset as well. You can be very conservative and just have a normal analog delay setting as a preset setting as well. The Delay Llama has your typical input and output jacks, is powered by a nine volt DC adapter. There are some side panel inputs like the DT input, which allows you to control the delay time via an expression pedal or a CV controller. There's also a PS input, which allows you to remotely engage the presets via an external TRS controller. Finally, there's a tap input, which allows you to remotely tap tempo. The Jam Pedal's Delay Llama Extreme changes the whole idea of what an analog pedal can do. It is a fully featured and powerful analog delay that allows you to save up to four presets, as well as having extreme modes that have sounds like vintage tape echo, vibrato, pitch intervals, modulated pitches, all that offer you some very interesting and far out sounds. If you want your analog delay pedal to do so much more, then the Delay Llama Extreme is it. Definitely check it out.